everyone, Lolly here. Welcome to my channel. Hope you're all doing well tonight. Tonight I am going to make a tag for Tag Tuesday. And Tag Tuesday is an open collaboration hosted by Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming. And I'll put the link to her channel in the description below. So you'll want to go over there and check out her video. But also she'll have the list of all the um, participants in the open collaboration. So my daughter sent me um, her scrapbook tote. She used to be big into scrapbooking and go to all the meets and all that stuff. And so she thinks she's retired from all of that until the kids are grown when she has more time. Um, so she wanted to ask me if I wanted anything out of it. And lots of cool stuff in there. But no, I'm just cleaning it up and repacking it for her. And I'm just going to store it for her until <clears throat> she's ready for it but I did find this little book in there it's not even a little book it's a big book but I am um, it has so many different layouts and ideas in there also has templates and like cutouts in it really nice book you can tell she hasn't even touched it yet so um I'm not going to mess with any of these things but um, I did find an idea in here that I liked and I thought I would try it for Tag Tuesday. And it's um, this idea right here with the torn pages or the torn, like the top. So I don't know, a tag isn't a very big spot to try that on, but that's what I'm gonna try to do is just something like that. So it just has um, the background, has the photo on it, and then like the keepsake um, tickets to somewhere and pictures of their trip, things like that. And then this part is torn out to make the frame around it, which I think is really cute. So I'm just gonna try something in that uh, idea, um, but that's my inspiration. So you guys can see that. Probably what I make will be nothing like that, but let's see. All right, just looking behind me here to see what I have. Um, or I have these and we could just start new ones. Okay, so I realized that I stopped talking and I think that was because I was just going to put this on fast forward. But I wanted to just let you know that right here I'm just building a background. Um, in my mind, of course, I have grungy and messy kind of um, thought in mind, which is my normal style. So I'm just using some texture paste here going over the stencil and um, I have said in my other videos that I have just so many different colors um, just a few different colors of um, inks that I'm going to drop on here so I already know I'm going to do that so I kind of have an idea it's going to be blues and greens and a little red in it um, I took that's the bottom tag and then the top tag I'll cut the uh, middle out and build the frame from there. You'll see that here in just a minute But this does take a little bit of time. So I am going to go ahead and speed it up for you I know that's not always the best. I don't always like that in videos But sometimes it's just watching paint dry and that's exactly what's coming up here um, Once the paste dries, I'm going to just start dropping paints and inks on here um, I don't have a heat gun. So I'm just using my hair dryer and I'm going to blow the paint around just to make different designs, things like that. So that's what you're going to see coming up. And then um, I'll catch up with you in just a bit. So here, while I have the ink out um, that's dripped there on the plate, I am going to color those two little girls. They are Tim Holtz characters. So um, I just wanted to put some blue on the dress. Um, I do change the dress later to be red, but that's what I'm doing in this clip. So now that I have made the background on the bottom tag, um, I am cutting out a shape for the top tag 
which is what we're going to use for the frame like in our inspiration picture uh, <clears throat> so I'm going to try ink this up and make it match the bottom one and then we're going to cut out the center um, like our inspiration picture and kind of fold back the inside of the frame <clears throat> and um, have that match the bottom one and then see if we can't collage something in the middle there so that's the hope that I can get all this pulled off So I had to cut out a lot of video here, but um, I was off camera again. I try to zoom in and that causes me to go off the screen and I need to get in a better habit of watching that better. <clears throat> so I have cut out the middle of the top tag, like our inspiration picture, and I'm trying to fold back the inside edges um, like the inspiration picture had um, the paper rolled back a little bit i didn't leave my edges very wide so there's not much there to work with but because it's a tag in a small space i also didn't um, want to leave the edges real wide so i'm sorry i'm off camera here but what i'm doing is just trying to size the uh, two tags together so i could see how much room i'm going to have to collage in the middle now I'm just starting to pick out some different pieces, ephemera, stickers, things like that, um, to go inside the um, opening here. And so um, I have the idea that I want it to be like their vacation pictures. So I'm going through my stash to kind of see what I have. Um, the inspiration picture has a um, picture of a building that they visited so i was trying to find something like that here i have some little luggage tag stickers and um on here i find a real pretty um it's a lighthouse or a tower and i put that um as the picture in the background as if they had visited somewhere so um it's going to speed it up a little bit the process here is i had a little butterfly and i dipped it in the ink that was left there on the glass plate um, to kind of make it match the tag itself. Um, added some uh, little flower and then just trying to put the placement of different things on here just to kind of fill it in. Um, I have two little tickets here at the bottom and it says 65 cents and just as if they had gone on a ride or gone in the museum or something like that. And that was their little um, keepsakes from that trip. So um, not the same uh, style as the inspiration picture, but I'm trying to kind of pull elements from that picture. Like he had a ticket stub and he had a picture in the background. So I'm just trying to imitate that a little bit in my very grungy, messy style. So um, sorry, I'm not up close here. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit without messing everything up. So you guys can see closer and um and that's that's what's happening now it's just the process so now i'm starting to lay things out kind of put on the final embellishments here i'm gluing with the hot glue gun the frame over the top and i'm making the hot glue pretty thick and i'm trying not to smash it down flat so that the frame is raised up off the bottom tag um, a little bit so it looks more dimensional and um, I've decided to just commit at first I was going to ditch the whole project and then I've just decided to commit and I'm glad that I did um, because it worked out in the end and I like it um, sometimes if you push through a project that you think is really bad in the end, it turns out to be like one of your best pieces. 
So that's what I've done with this one, just trying to um, muscle my way through it, add to it. Um, I'm kind of sad that the background is covered up because um, I really like the background. I put a lot of work into that, but it just, um, anyway, to save the tag, um, I just kept adding more embellishments. And I stamped this phrase. I have a stamp that says, you make me smile. And I had stamped a bunch of cloth um, pieces with it. So I'm going to trim it down and I'm going to make that the title here on the front of my um, picture frame. <laughs> so a um, few more embellishments and we'll be just about finished with the project. ready for the final reveal I really like it after all um, it was a struggle and again I'm sad I covered up much of the background but sometimes that happens right the background kind of gets you motivated kind of starts to get the ideas in your head things like that so it was a really pretty background but um, once I collaged over it most of it disappeared you can't see the blues and the greens in the background so I'm happy with that but um, this is it. This was, um, I was about to give up and, um, I'm glad I didn't because I feel like I saved it in the end. So it's not something you definitely can mass produce, <laughs> but, um, it was a fun, fun project for me. Um, I logged off from work and went to my craft room and started this and, um, it was super fun. So here's the inspiration picture with the torn frame. And again, my project is far from this one, but maybe we'll try that one in an actual scrapbook page sometime. But um, thanks for joining me. Make sure that you go over and check out Sherry's channel and you um, look at all the links from everybody else that's going to participate in the collaboration because there are so many um, talented people that join in the collaboration. So make sure you check out everyone and go and like and subscribe to everybody um, doesn't cost you anything doesn't take any time at all and um, show everybody some love because there is again a lot of talent out there so thank you so much for um, joining me you can see me pointing and doing things here I lost the audio somewhere <laughs> I'm struggling with my editing lately but anyway um, there's a little puffy frame over the Tim Holtz girls have a luggage tag here two tickets with the 65 cents on it the lighthouse in the background like they went to visit that um, I turned the paper back as much as I could I didn't have much room to do um, too much there so that's kind of what I'm telling you there where I'm pointing um, but I lost that audio somewhere so and sorry I'm a little bit hoarse <laughs> I don't know what that's about but um, anyway there's the finished product I saved it, I think. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about it. Um, should I have stopped or you think I saved it in the end? Thanks again, guys, for joining me. Um, hope you're all doing well, and I'll see you in the next video.